uh, homework was given to you related to phase two. C number of components are present in P minus one number of phases, and one component is missing from the remaining phase. That is, the problem is almost identical to that of the previous one. Only one component is missing from only one phase. So this phase is containing C minus one number of components. This phase is containing C number of components. This phase is again containing C number of components and so on. Only one component is missing from only one phase. Now number of variables that need to be specified. One for temperature, one for pressure as usual. and you see there are p minus 1 number of phases which are containing c number of components each so it will be c into p minus 1 and in this phase we have c minus 1 number of components so what will be the total number of variables that need to be specified this one one will cancel out so we have p into c pc minus c plus c one minus one cancels out and it is one now this cc will cancel out so we will have pc plus one you can remember that in the previous case the number of variables that is required to be determined was pc plus 2 now in this case we have obtained pc plus 1 and this result is obvious since one component is missing from only one phase so one variable is less required this is the reason why there is a decrease in number of variables by unity now we have to find the number of available equations see we have started from x11 that is the mole fraction of the first component in the first phase but first component is missing say it to be first component so we will start from x21 plus x31 plus dot 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 xc1 equals to 1 so this is the mole fraction of the second component in the first phase plus mole fraction of the third component in the first phase and so on and mole fraction of the last component in the first phase equals to 1 since first component is missing but it is present in other phases so it will be x12 plus x22 plus x32 plus dot 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 xc2 equals to 1 and it will be x1 in the last phase x2 last phase last component in the last phase equals to 1 so how many equations we have here we have p number of equations the components will be distributed among the layers that is phases in such a way so as to minimize the value of free energy of the entire system now this will be achieved only when k 
केमिकल पोटेंशियल ऑफ एनी कंपोनेंट एटेंस आइडेंटिकल वैल्यू इन ऑल द फेजेस नाउ द फर्स्ट कंपोनेंट इज मिसिंग इन द फर्स्ट फेज बट इट इज प्रेजेंट इन द सेकेंड फेज सो वी विल स्कीप म्यू वन वन ना म्यू वन टू इक्वेल्स टू म्यू वन थ्री दैट इज फर्स्ट कॉम्पोनेंट इन द सेकेंड फेज फर्स्ट कॉम्पोनेंट इन द थर्ड फेज एंड इन दिस वे फर्स्ट कॉम्पोनेंट इन द पी एथ फेज In the first phase, first component is absent, so we get this equation. Now here we have p minus one number of terms. It is starting from two. If it starts from one, then we will have p minus one number of equations. But it is starting from two, so there are p minus one number of terms. So total number of equations here is p minus two. Now for the second component, we will get it in the first phase. Equals to chemical potential of the second component in the second phase, chemical potential of the second component in the third phase, chemical potential of the second component in the pth phase. So here we will have p minus one number of equations since it is starting from the first phase and continuing up to pth phase. in this way the last component mu c in the first phase mu c in the second phase mu c in the last phase so the remaining equations are giving p minus 1 equations each so these are c minus 1 number of sets so in total it is giving c minus 1 and each are giving p minus 1 so p minus 1 so total number of equations that are available is total number of available equations p from mole fraction p minus 2 and we have c minus 1 into p minus 1 simplifying we will have this is 2p minus 2 here it is pc minus p minus c and we have plus 1 So two p minus p we have p. Let us write p c first. So p c plus p. Then we have minus c minus two plus one we have minus one. So these are the total number of available equations and these number of variables are need to be specified. degree of freedom or variance is defined as number of variables that need to be specified in this case it is pc plus 1 and number of available equations it is pc plus p minus c minus 1 minus pc minus p plus c plus 1 it is getting cancelled out and we have c minus p plus 2 or degree of freedom is c minus p plus 2 in the previous case where all the components were being present in all the phases we have obtained that degree of freedom to be c minus p plus 2 and in this case also we are getting the same result where one component is missing from one phase this is obvious since both the number of variables and the number of available equations are getting reduced by unity 
owing to the missing of one component hence the result remains the same this is the homework i have solved it for you and now i will deal with a reactive system phase rule for reactive system in the previous case all components were non reactive now in this case say two components react with each other then at equilibrium del g reaction for that reaction which is occurring will be zero now it is obviously new i mu y summation over i where new i is the stoichiometric coefficient and it is positive for products and negative for reactants since product increases and reactant decreases over time and mu y is the respective chemical potentials this must be zero at equilibrium chemical potential multiplied by the number of moles will give the gibbs free energy and summation over it will be zero at equilibrium this is the condition of equilibrium now we have considered two components to react with each other you can also consider three components or four components whatever may be but only single reaction is occurring here now rest of the conditions remaining same we are getting only one additional equation that is minus new r mu r plus new p mu p equals to zero or we are taking it to the right hand side but writing in the left hand side new r mu r equals to mu p new p now degree of freedom will be the number of variables that need to be specified it is pc plus 2 since temperature pressure that will be two and all components are present in all the phases so th that will be pc now number of available equations since no component is missing from any phases we have here p number of available equations owing to mole fraction and c into p minus 1 from the chemical potential and another equation we are getting from this reaction condition so the first problem is exactly manifested only one modification we are getting one extra equation here for one reaction so it will be pc plus 2 minus p it will be minus pc minus c it is plus c and it is minus 1 now pc pc will cancel out we have c minus 1 we are writing it intact c minus 1 these two are cancelling each other we have minus p and plus 2 so the degree of freedom that is obtained in case of reactive system where only one independent reaction is occurring is c minus 1 minus p plus 2 if i merge it it will give c minus p plus 1 but i am writing in this way to give the idea about how many reactions that are occurring in the system now if two independent reaction occurs then it will be for two independent reactions here it is only one reaction for two reactions it will be here we will have two instead of one so it will be c minus 2 minus p plus 2 so in general for r number of independent reactions occurring in the system at equilibrium we will have f equals to c minus r minus p plus 2 this is the phase rule for our reactive system